hi what's up guys my name is Kimirab and in this video I am going to show you guys of how to create a YouTube channel art for free on your computer so my first video that I did upload to YouTube of how to create a YouTube channel art and then it's gonna suck a lot so I'm gonna show you guys of how to create a YouTube channel art in very simple way and it's pretty easy so let's get started so the first thing we're going to do now is you have to have this program which is called pixel so you're gonna have to download this program and install this over to your computer so once you have that you're gonna have to go to this logo design and you're gonna have to choose please be specific guys and you're gonna have to choose one of these fonts that is gonna be appropriate to your youtube channel art so choose room so by the way guys all of the links will be down in the description guys so we're gonna have to check out which is called pixel flamingtext.com pick monkey and of course background so we're gonna have to search for a background so i'm gonna do this on the rest of the video so you're gonna have to go to logo design tool and you're gonna have to name it as you want especially your youtube channel art so by the way guys if you have a long pronunciation and you have to shrink them as short as possible so you're gonna have to shrink them right like gamer art productions that's my genuine youtube channel art and you want to shrink them as short as possible so you make it as gamer app so gamer app there we go and font size is gonna be 99 because over 99 you're gonna have to purchase this or download it otherwise so click shadow and however you're gonna have to skip this logo option so shadows please give it a try and set this to the fraction or either glow or either normal so i want to set this to drop because it makes me like you know it makes me like phenomenal looking so background so set this to transparent right so however if you don't like the transparent you can pretty much set this to color but i don't want color because it's gonna suck a lot if you combine them because if you do combine the background and this font with a color texture basically it shows the color white the background one so i don't want that it's not a good thing it's gonna mess up so set this to transparent and you're gonna have to click next and you're gonna have to download this program or maybe if you were on windows 7 or windows 8.1 you're gonna have to simply drag it over to your desktop but if you are on windows 10 and you having any reasons that it doesn't really work you're gonna have to download this program and it should start to download this program now if you already have a font that came with your editing process with your program which is called pixel you're gonna have to download that again from i guess no because you already you know exist on your computer so once you have that font already exist you're gonna have to go directly to your pickmonkey.com which will be in the description guys so click edit click computer and select your background but before before you even try it please search your background now i want to search blue right so once you search blue it's gonna came up some of the images for some perspective so yeah so please wait guys it should take a little second and this should come up so simply drag it over to your desktop if you're on windows 7 or windows 8.1 but if you're on windows 10 you're gonna have to right click this and click save picture and how however you could name it as you want so basically you could name it like blue or stuff like that and click save but i already you know i already have that folder which is called blue dark blue so once you have that go to photo editor go to edit go to computer and go to dark blue there we go click open and youtube has recommendations which is the resolution which is which is gonna be 2560 by 1440 so you're gonna have to set that or maybe higher than 2560 than uh 1440 i guess so you're gonna have to click crop 
and you're gonna have to crop this by 2560 by 1600 because that's only the option that pop up in this crop option so you're gonna have to set this to 2560 um which is over right there i found you so click apply and you're gonna have to save that there we go and for adding some icons on your computer you're gonna have to search there we go like youtube so uh facebook icon There we go. And we're gonna have to click save picture. Do the same thing as I do a while ago on blue. And you're gonna have to save it all over to your computer and have a nice icon right there. So I already do that exist onto my files, which is over right there. So go to my computer, go to thumbnails, go to icons. As you can see, Facebook icon, Google icon, Twitter icon, YouTube icon. So it's a pretty good thing. So we're gonna have to go ahead and save it to your computer you're gonna have to download this go ahead and name it as you want there we go frn okay so different name like 42 there we go click save and it's gonna start to download the computer so how to know or make sure that it is now downloaded over to your computer now if you do come back automatically with your editor and it says indicating like masterpiece save this means that you already save it over to your computer so once you have that you're gonna have to open this program which is called pixel so you're gonna have to open that and however it should like a full screen but the good thing about this is you could able to make it you know a uh, standard full screen so click on that and it should start to changing as the standard full screen so you're gonna have to click file click open and click your background so click on that click open and by the way this is by the way a 2560 by 1600 so click uh, refine click double and click the font uh, go to downloads folder and go to font and click open there we go and it should look like a transparent so i'm gonna have to set this as you want there we go gamer app and set this to on the top there we go and double there we go and go to thumbnails go to icons youtube there we go click open and you could pretty much put some any any slash or blah 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 site for any any information so that is gonna be your sites or your social media sites so you're gonna have to click apply and before you even do it please resize it right please make it as sufficient because youtube recommends you 2560 by 1440 so please make it sufficient so click apply and you could pretty much you know i'm gonna show you guys for any demonstrations so double there we go go to thumbnails and go to slash go ahead and go to gamer app there we go and click apply and we're very sorry for my orange background it's gonna it's gonna mess up so you could pretty much put some informations over to your icon social media icons so you could pretty much go ahead and like do the same thing on gamer app set this to transparent and put the information based on your icons if you are on facebook icon you could pretty much put the icon like gamer app for fun for my facebook so you're gonna have to put gamer app for fun and that's it it's pretty much it so once you have that you're gonna have to save it and click save but i just want to discard that because it's gonna suck a lot so go to youtube channel once you have that so go ahead and you go to youtube channel go to my youtube channel and you're gonna have to click the pencil tool you're gonna have to click that and click edit channel and click your silica photo from a computer and you're gonna have to select your photo that you have already saved and locate that and once you have that you're gonna have to crop it and once you have that you're gonna have to save it as your youtube channel art and there you have it you have a nice youtube channel art so thanks for watching guys and if you did found it useful let me know in the comments below please hit the like button and subscribe button